Big Ramy, the sensation of the year 2013. He broke into the scene in uh, New York Pro. He won a decisively versus um, an out of shape, to say the least, uh, Martinez. He came into the O and he placed eight. A lot of people would have placed him a little bit higher, including myself. At least he should have been placed above Jay Cutler. He was, in my opinion, better than him. Let's break this fellow down to see if he has any potential of being a top guy. I mean, not only a top guy, does he have the shot at a major title like Arnold Classic or even Mr. Olympia? Why not? Okay, well, first of all, for the unaware, this dude uh, works out in Kuwait. He comes from Egypt. Supposedly, he trains since only three years, not more than that. He's under the wing of Dennis the Menace James, who trains a lot of guys. He called them uh, the Menace uh, Militia or the Menace Team. And basically, he wants to be the top guy of that team. Does he have a potential? Well, in my opinion, the dude still has some serious problems. I want to address that. But first of all, the potential. Is it there? Yes. Big time, yes. Why? Let's break uh, some poses of these guys and see what he lacks. First of all, the front double biceps. To be honest with you, it is quite complete uh, from the muscular point of view. Every muscle is there. Every single muscle is just there. Is it perfect? No. But that's the reason we need to address a little bit later. Let's go on. Side chest. You can see him here next to the ex-Mr. Olympia, uh, Jay Cutler, who was out of shape, but you can definitely see that he was out muscled in this pose from every angle from the thighs up even you know the chest the the, the biceps the tricep sweep that bulgy uh delt is definitely just better than that of um of uh, jay cutler so he is good from the muscular point of view from this side and also please notice that his waist is just okay he has no gh slash insulin slash whatever gut going on he's not pregnant to say the least now uh this um abs and thigh let's put him next to mr olympia phil heath with all due respect i think he is just better in this position if the judges put phil heath next to um big Grammy in this specific pose i think big Grammy just has it specifically in the thighs just bigger more muscular and even the midsection is just just better than that of the Radiant Mr. O, if you ask me. Now, let's address one of his weakest poses, in my opinion, the back double biceps. I see no, uh, not only details, there is no, nothing coming at you, no 3D effect. Uh, his way, uh, he reminds me a bit of, he's not as bad as Nasser El Sambari, but... Is in between like Nasser El Sambari and Jay Cutler. Now, don't get me wrong. Jay Cutler has been uh, basically uh, placed as top five best backs of the of the history. I don't agree with that. His back is not bad, his, but it's definitely not world class. I'll put a lot of guys who were not even top ten Mr. Olympia better than Jay Cutler's back. Jay Cutler's back has never been about definition, and it showed, especially in Ronnie Coleman days. Now, when he was winning lately versus Phil Heath, Phil Heath is narrow and he, he was just out-muscled by uh, Jay Cutler, if you ask me, and it was not the bat that was basically breaking the deal for Jay Cutler. So, uh, the problem with uh, um, Mr. Mahmoud El Sibiai, because that's his real name, Big Ramy, is him holding water. It's all over the place, not only his back, the back in my opinion, it has more to do with muscle maturity. Because in this picture here, you can see him. There is some potential there. I mean, for God's sake. I mean, I see the insertions are there to show a better Christmas tree. I see that he can, if he's not injured, the lower back can definitely be more defined, more muscular. I'm not asking him to be like Samir Banut kind of Christmas tree. But at least it will be definitely better. For sure. I mean, it's a muscle. I see the insertions are there. So it's all about working them better, uh, bringing that Christmas tree. And of course, 
removing the water, specifically the lower back. The lower back is deemed to hold water more than the other uh, regions. Uh, and when it comes to uh, the thighs, the thighs are huge, right? They remind me of, of those of uh, Ronnie Coleman, but again, there is a little layer of water he's holding that basically uh, hindering the looks. We don't see the details, and the details are there, trust me. You can, you can definitely see some uh, feathers uh, waiting to, to appear, for God's sake. So what I'm thinking is that he is overdone. The dude, if you, if you take a look at his face, he does not have what we call the death face. You see these athletes like Phil Heath or even Kai Green, 2012. They have, you know, the cheekbones coming at you. Or this year, a dude who has definitely less potential than Big Ramy. However, he plays better than him. I'm talking about Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf brought the death face this year. You need to be at your lowest. I mean, the body fat was really low and so was the water, right? So that's his problem right now. And guess what? Some people will never be able to dial it in. I mean, I can remind you of uh, Flex Wheeler. He was never, or uh, even Lee Priest. You can Google Lee Priest as much as you can. Take a look at his glutes and his hamstring. They were never, never lean enough. He was always holding water in his butt and in, in his hamstring. So hopefully it's not something that Big Ramy cannot deal with, right? And between you and me, uh, I've seen him around the Olympia stage. He did not look fatigued. He looked okay. He was chilling. I'm sorry, bro. If you're at the Mr. O stage, you need to be at your lowest. I mean, people pose, champions pose, and then they go back, uh, backstage to have some oxygen. Ronnie Coleman was that depleted when it comes to water uh, and energy, right? And the dude is chilling. So in my opinion, he's not digging deep enough. We'll see how it goes, right? So that's my opinion on him. He is a major potential. He has all the tools indeed to win the Mr. Olympia if he refined his body. I'm saying it. Big Ramy can definitely be a Mr. Olympia if he dials in well and if he does not get injured. So I don't know if Dennis will put him there, but Dennis James, for the aware, for people who knew, followed bodybuilding back in the day, he had a bad reputation. He was always updating his fans with pictures coming into a show like Mr. Olympia. He looked so good on those pictures, like Sean Ray was saying, if you look at Dennis James in these pictures, you will see his Mr. O. And then when he comes into a show, he comes depleted and not dialing properly. So hopefully he will fix them. But until he proves me wrong, I'm sorry. He's not there as of yet. Still a long time to go. Big Grammy, you have a big potential, but we'll see if you take advantage of it. Bring the death face into the game if you want to win. Forget about the mass. We know you're huge, but bring me some detail, please. Salute you wherever you are. Don't forget to like the video. God bless you all.